Moto 2 cannot be started unless Moto 1 is running. Moto 1 cannot be started unless Moto 2 is stopped. M Moto 2 cannot be started unless Moto 1 is running. Moto 1 cannot be stopped unless Moto 2 is stopped. Both motor will stop when each overload trips. The emergency stop button must stop both motors immediately at all times. So this is the sequence that we are looking at. So the diagram of the sequence is this one. What we are going to do here is just to show how to wire it. So as you can see from here, if it cannot be stopped, that means you are interlocked in on the stop button. If it cannot be started, that means your interlock is on the start button. So this they are telling you in summary that your interlock is in the start button of motor 2. This tell you the interlock is in, in the stop button on motor 1. So, so you must bear in mind about the statement. Okay, here we have to wire according to this one. So we supply our circuit breaker from the isolator. It life. Neutral output is going to the overload. Then this one is going. From 96 is going to the e stop. Input of e stop. Output is going to. Input of start button. So we're going to start with this line. And complete. So with this one. We'll go to 13, output of stop button. This is an output of stop button of stop button number one. It's going to 13 off. It's going to 13 of motor one. Then the output of Stop of, of oh, normally open is going to A1. Then A2 is going to the neutral. From here, you're taking it to the neutral. And then, now we're going to take this one, the input of start button, this one. It's going to 53 of. Of motor one coil. jump from here we take it to here so this is the input the output is going to 54 yeah taking it to 54 of motor one. No, it's motor two. It's motor two mistake. Motor two here. 
and then we're taking this one 253 and then from 54 going to the input of start button number one then the output is going to 14 of here and then this one close and then we are going to st start button this one the output of it's also going to the input of stop number one then the output of stop of stop number two here it's going to it's going to 13 going to dating of motor two and then let's continue with this one output at 14 is going to 53 of motor one so 14 is this one going to 53 here is 53 yeah and then the output here it's going to a I'm taking it from here it's going to A1 here it's A1 then the output here is going to the neutral Let's take this to the neutral And then we have a start button. Start button is going to the input of start button going to dating of motor. And then 14 is going to 54 of motor 1. Fifty-fourth motor one, which is the same as a a one. So we're con connecting to a one, the closest. So this is a one of motor two. So that's it. That's it. That's how we're going to connect it.